Hello, hello, good evening. Welcome, my dear students. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, how Hello. are you? Hello. I am fine. I am doing uh, uh, today. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing today. You are doing what? Yeah. You are doing great. You are doing I fine. Love, I, I love, I love dream. <laughs> I love to sleep, you say. I love to sleep. Yeah, sleep and dream. Soñar. Yeah, because Amo dream soñar. dream is like when you are sleeping and when you have the chance to actually like picture things in your in your brain and you say like, oh, okay. this is happening. So that's to dream, right? But okay. to, to sleep is just to close your eyes and just to, oh, <laughs> just to fall asleep. Are you okay. are you a teacher? I, How are you today? I am doing great. Very happy to be here. I do love to sleep as well. <laughs> ah, yeah. Fine. I, I have the I have the ability to fall ah, asleep okay. very quickly. I I I um uh, um eighteenth. Uh, I go to the uh the beach. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, You're... yeah, yeah. That's so uh, nice. <laughs> uh, um um a eighteenth. I uh Arcular Rent Rent Car uh, uh, the Nuevo como se sería de 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 um I will come back I will yeah, return okay. Yeah return yeah el car uh, um ya lo extraño <laughs> Okay So you are going to go to the beach Yeah um no sé cuál la verdad No I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know which one you say, but I you are know going. I don't know which one. Yeah. But you are going to go to one mm -hmm. of them. Well, yeah. what a precious thing that you are going to go and enjoy your time at the beach. So that it's really, really nice. Just enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy it, right? Enjoy it because later on you are going to come back for classes and more things to do. So it is. It is really necessary, right? If you if you actually enjoy it. Well, my dear students, we are going to start today. We're going to start with a discussion question, right? We are going to start with a discussion question. And this one, I am going to give you some time for you to write down your thoughts. And once you have your thoughts ready, you are going to share them, right? I am going to uh, share my screen with you. Just give me one second. And here you have. I have this question for all of you. What do you think? And it was exactly what Francisco was talking about because he was talking about resting, vacation, going on holiday, etc. And I have this question for all of you. Holidays are a waste of time because a holiday is something which turns somebody who is tired into somebody who is exhausted. What is your opinion about this topic? So today we are going to practice a lot writing, reading, and speaking. Holidays are a waste of time because it turns somebody who is tired into somebody who is exhausted. Do you get the whole idea of the, of the sentence that I am presenting you? Do you, do you get the, the idea? Yes or no? If you can, if you yes, could, I do. Okay, if you can, could translate this one, what would be the idea of this phrase? In Spanish. Uh -huh. What would be the what would be the Spanish equivalent? ¿Qué es lo que piensas? Eh, las vacaciones o los días festivos son uh -huh. una pérdida de tiempo porque. Eh, una vacación, un día festivo es algo lo cual eh, vuelve a alguien quien está cansado a, a alguien que exhausto algo. A alguien que está exhausto. What is your point of view? What do you think about this? Holidays or days off? Both of them. What happens in our country? 
If you have a day off, you can go to the bank, you go to the supermarket, you do this, you clean the house. You do... So you do many things. And the idea of a day off is to rest, to recharge, right? But what do we do? We do everything on the day off. What happens on, on vacations? What happens when you are going to go to the beach? Okay, cuando vamos a ir a la playa. It is supposed to be a relaxed trip, right? To relax and enjoy, but no. The sandwiches, the towels, the clothing, the pillows, this and that, and then, then you end up so tired that you don't enjoy the trip. But what is your opinion? I want to listen to your opinion. So there you have the question, and I need you to give me your point of view, okay? Give me your point of view. Write down some ideas, some thoughts, and I would really appreciate that you can send them on the chat, on Zoom, or on the chat in WhatsApp. Any of the two places. I need you to think about your answer, and I need you to send the uh, piece of writing into the chat so we can check writing as well. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to create your answer. And once you have your answer, you can share it with everybody. Okay, get it ready, get it done. And once you are ready, let me know. I will give you a couple of minutes for you to answer. Write down your ideas. If you have questions on vocabulary, you can ask, don't worry. Teacher, how do you say this? Teacher, how do you say that? Okay, there you go. You can send the answer there in the chat in WhatsApp. Whenever you finish, let me know, please. I love your concentration. You look very concentrated <laughs> when you are writing.
Miss, excuse me. Uh, first yeah. of all, we got to write, uh, I finish, or uh, at the same time, we can write, write or send or, or thoughts. No, you can send your thoughts directly on the chat so we can check it. You can send your thoughts and we can start checking them. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sorry. Don't worry. We are um, we are analyzing the um, well the sentence that I just presented there about holidays, right? We are analyzing it and you are sharing your uh, thoughts or your ideas about it. And you are going to send me your point of view on the chat. So uh, there is the question, the one that I am sharing about holidays. It says, what do you think? Holidays are a waste of time because they turn someone who is tired into someone who is exhausted, right? Los días libres o los festivos Nos, man, nos pasan de alguien que está cansado, alguien que termina exhausto. What is your point of view? And I need your answer on writing on the chat in Zoom or in the chat in WhatsApp. You can either share it there and there you have the answers on bless you. <laughs> bless you okay. to whoever was sneezing. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. So that's what we are doing. Thank you for all the ones who are sending me the uh, messages on the chat. Sure. Yes. Uh, the problem for me is because uh, my uh, cell phone keyboard, uh, I have some time to rewrite the word because <laughs> only understand Spanish. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can do it in, uh, well, in, in Zoom or if not, write it down and you can send me a picture. It's okay. okay. And I can check it later on. Maybe I won't check it exactly as what I will do with everybody, but I will check it in the meantime. Okay. Thank you for the ones who keep sending me the answers. That's pretty awesome. And we're going to check to start checking some of them so we can actually uh, advance on that. Okay. Okay, so let me see. I have many answers on the chat. That's fantastic. Okay. Let, let me see what I can do. And let me see if, if I do this, if you can see it. Okay, keep sending them, keep sending them because I am going to read all of them. Don't worry. I will read them all so you can keep sending them. Okay. In this case, okay, let me just move it a little bit here and I will make it bigger. Can you see the window, the chat window? Yes? Yes. Perfect. So that's, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted you to shake it with me. Okay, good. So I am going to go here with the first one. Right, I am going to go with the first one. You can also see your beautiful faces here on my cameras. That's so beautiful. Okay. So we are going to go with the first one. And it says, Christmas, so tired, it says, so tired. After Teacher, I'm sorry. Yep. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Uh, I'm not watching the, the chat. I'm, I'm watching your a page in Word. Okay, let me just stop. That it says the present conditional. Ah, uh, no, no, that's for the that's for the grammar. I am going to share it in a moment, right? So, 
that's the second thing that I wanted to share. Well, let me just do it like this. I am going to read it for everybody. I stop sharing for everybody. Yes. Let me just do it in the old fashioned way. I will read them. I will read the first one. And I and you can open the chat and go with me. Go along with me. And it says Christmas. So tired. After work, you have to go to the market to buy everything you need to prepare foods. Don't say for prepare foods, okay? In the case of bodies, for prepare foods, no. To prepare food. Uh, the turkey, and you stay away all night long and visit your relatives, and you end up exhausted, right? So in this case, when you do this type of uh, sentence, you say, you need to prepare foods. You, you just change that one, and then to prepare the turkey, right? You have to stay awake. You have to stay awake all night long and you have to visit your, rel your relatives. You end up exhausted, right? I disagree. How do you write disagree? I disagree, right? Exactly like that. I disagree. And we go like this. Okay, oh my God, I have many. I disagree. Holidays are not a waste of time because in those days you can do whatever thing you need to do. Even though you can get exhausted, it is necessary to have this time for it. And anyway, your boss must pay you for that day off. So it is okay if you had that day for yourself, right? Good opinion, Eraivin. Very good opinion, right? You have to, you deserve it. That is the word. You deserve it. The next one, Jenny says, on holidays, when I go to the beach, I get tired because I have to drive. But during the day, I feel relaxed. You say, I feel relaxed. The next one, Miguel says, I think vacations are to strength integration with work teams, with my family, with my friends. Good. On vacations, you do what you can't do on normal days, says Geraldine. Uh, so... The mind is programmed to enjoy. It doesn't matter if you are exhausted. Good. I have to stop on uh, Geraldine's uh, message. What happens when you have to wake up to go to work? ¿Cómo se levantan para ir a trabajar? You say, yeah, I am going to work. Yeah, fantastic. Let's do it. Yay. No, right? But what happens when you go to the beach? When you are going to travel? When you are going to do something? Three in the morning. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> you are very active. You are very happy. And you are very ready for this. So, Geraldine, I totally agree with your point of view. You deserve it, right? You deserve it. It might be tiring, but it's good in the end. Uh, Nadia says, the holiday or vacations are to enjoy the rest. In my case, I usually visit the park or the beach and I visit my family in other city. Good. Erika says, holidays are good because the people, okay, people can, don't say the people, right? People can relax after work, after to work, no. And we can spend time with the family or friends, good. In my personal opinion, right, the holidays aren't a waste of time because you have the chance to clear your mind from the stress of the job or even the daily life, daily, not daily, daily. Dennis, let's correct that one. In Christmas, sometimes work at the turns for the night and is a very tired and boring. Okay, Jessica. In Christmas, I sometimes work at night. So you say at night. And it is very tiring and boring, right? Let's correct that one. Noemi says, vacations cause me stress. Make me feel stress, okay? Just thinking about what I have to prepare <laughs> don't come back more tired, right? Just thinking about all the things that I have to prepare and I will come back more tired. Holidays are important for the emotional well-being of people. If uh, you distract from routine and spend time with family, good. Francis says, going to the beach is so tiring because you need to have everything ready at night. Sandwiches, <laughs> shorts, towels, waking up very early in the morning and not for you not to be in traffic and upon returning to be in a very ugly traffic to return home. Yes, that's why you don't have to come back at night. Come back the next day in the morning. <laughs> the next day at four in the morning. It's my, my tip. I think that on holidays you can visit the family 
that we don't usually visit. It is a good time to rest and have fun with family. I love to go and visit my mother, right? I feel so pampered and love that it's so fantastic, right? I think it is tirado. It's tirado. It's tidying. It's tidying, but satisfying because we do we do with family and friends. Maybe that's what you want to say. It's recreational and you share or you uh, spend time with them. It is, Regina says, I think that it depends on the places that you go. It's true, right? It depends on the places that you go and the time that you go because you can also rest those days without going out, doing nothing, just rest. It is, Regina, like for your comment. Yes, you can do nothing, right? You have another day to do the cleaning. You have another day to cook, right? Ask for pollo campero that day. <laughs> And you don't have to do much, right? And the holidays are very funny and relaxing because I share with my family. We are going to Nahuizalco in Holy Week. In Holy Week. Saint Week? No, in Holy Week. And eat yuca and pupusas of yuca, visiting many places around there. In the holidays, it is to enjoy with family. Okay, teacher, thank you. Good. <laughs> it is very important for the body to rest and return with more energy thank you very much for your answers it is pretty awesome it was just a simple question right but it is good that you take the time to also practice your writing to read it to analyze to say let's check it right is it understandable is it clear did i write the subjects did i write the things that i, ha I had to write right jessica tell me en my case, eh, bueno, solo voy a decir en español, siempre que se ponga at eh, night, siempre va a ser antes at night. Yes. Porque creo que puse the night, ¿verdad? Yes, you say at night, because you say in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, right? Okay. At night. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. the only one that you use at. You say okay. in the okay. evening, in the morning, in the afternoon, but you say at night. At night. Okay, okay. okay. so that's the difference. Well, my dear class, thank you very, very much for your answers. I was sharing this one as well. I was sharing my document here. And yesterday we started talking about this topic, right? We started, topic, we started uh, talking about the topic second conditionals. And we were talking about many different things that can happen, right? That are unreal because they are unreal things that you imagine that might happen or not. Tell me, Miguel Angel, what are the second conditionals? Can you help me to read this part? Yee, what a horrible drawing that I did, but that part. <laughs> okay, Miguel Angel. And Nadia is going to help me later. Yes, I, I can read. Okay. The, the, the paragraph. Uh, the present unreal condition, conditional, unconditional, unreal with the present. Second conditional is formed with if plus simple past. Simple. Simple, sentence, simple past sentence for the conditional and the present conditional will plus present sentence for the for the consequence clauses good so you have here you have if plus simple past plus would in the present right so you say if i won the lottery i will buy a judge you know what it's a judge right do you know any idea of what a what a judge is what is a judge un yate if I won the lottery, I will buy a judge. What is the next one? If I won the lottery, what will you do? Change this one. If I won the lottery, I will buy a house. I will buy a house. Okay, give me more examples. I need more examples. If I won the lottery, I will buy a car. I will buy a car. Okay, very good. More examples. I would travel around the world. I will travel around the world. Fantastic. What else? Uh -huh. I would. If would I just, won the lottery, uh -huh. I will buy 
a franchise of hamburgers. Okay, yeah, that I am not going to say the name, but it's an, an M or a or a king. <laughs> so I, I will buy I will buy a restaurant as well for you to have the money working. Alejandro, where are you? Alejandro is the investments expert here. Will, yes, and I, I I'm going to say about something about that. Uh -huh. I will buy a company maybe. A company, you see? Most probably, yes. Yeah, because you are going to have your money working, right? If I win, yes, if I won us. the lottery, I will buy a company yes. or something similar. Yes. Good. So I, I will buy, buy a, a what? You will buy a house. I will buy, buy a house in the mountain. <gasps> nice. <laughs> uh huh, Boris. I will buy a car. A car. What type of car? Um, looks like. A luxury, okay, a luxurious car. You know, I will buy a Jeep or a big okay. pickup. <laughs> I love oh. the big pickups. So I will buy a Jeep or a, a really big pickup if I want to learn. But in the meantime, yeah, we have the Mercedes Benz that are available for everybody. Tenemos unos Mercedes Benz preciosos. Tienen un número y van como más gente, pero anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bus. Uh, why yeah. some people use uh, the word truck? The truck, la troca. Ah, uh, th that's a well. That's a like a Mexican thing that they do because the word of this is truck. Truck is como un camión, right? Un camionón. Say it's a truck, but they just adopted that one to say troca. That okay. it's como el camión, hombre. But it's it's just the name that they have just invented, but it comes from truck, right? It comes from this word, the truck. If I had a longer vacation, if I had a longer vacation, I will travel around Asia. If you had long vacations, where will you travel to? If I had long vacations, where would you travel? Travel. So, I will travel around will travel, Spain. Around Spain, good. I will travel around Argentina. Around Argentina, very good. I will travel to Switzerland. To Switzerland, fantastic. If I had a longer vacation, I would travel all around Asia. All around Asia, beautiful, right? I will travel Finland. You will travel to Finland. I will travel around or I will travel to, okay, to Finland. If I was an animal, I will be a squirrel. <laughs> this is a curious question. People, if you were an animal, what would you be? I think I can. I will be a, <laughs> I okay. will be a wolf. I will be a wolf. Good. Yes. Uh -huh. I will be a eagle. An eagle, very good. What else? I if will be I a cat. A cat. <laughs> Nadia says a cat. Then if I will be a snake. A snake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dennis, tell me. If I was an animal, I would be a lion. A lion, good, very good. A snake. Me, I will be a dolphin. A dolphin, a dolphin, dolphin. dolphin. Anna? If I was an animal, I would be a sleeping bear. A which one? Also, yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know. I, I have the name of this one. Let me just share the name. I had it right here. Lazy bear. I, no, it's not a lazy, lazy bear. <laughs> no, they have a specific name. Give me, let me share it with you. <laughs> So I will be a, a kangaroo. A kangaroo. Wow. I, I would love to be a panda bear. I don't know. <laughs> they, are, they are so beautiful. They are sure. so yes. I will be a koala. A koala. Oh, they are very beautiful. They are very, very beautiful. Let's see. It is chin chin chin. I had it right here. Okay. Ah, that's why it's in Chinese. That's why. Walk. 
If I was an animal, I would be a kuzuko as well. A kuzuko? <laughs> Why a kuzuko? Huh? Because I think the kuzukos are, inter are interesting. They are very, they are very interesting indeed, and they can protect themselves. So that's something curious that they can actually uh, protect themselves, and they they just go inside this this little uh, protection case that they have. So it's like it's pretty pretty beautiful. Akusuko. Sure. How it's do you lot. Say perico in the English. Ah, uh, parakeet. 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 Yes. The slot. It's an oso perezoso, a slot. You will be a slot. I am a slot. It's the same as pereza. No, no, no. Laziness, it's pereza. Lazy is como araganería, pereza. And laziness is the feeling, right? It's like the, the situation. Es que, uh -huh. Because I remember that slot is one of the seven capital sins. Yes, in that case, they use that one. They use the same word for slot. So, but it's, uh, that's the, also the name of the animal, a slot. They are, they, they just live happily in their world. So it is curious, right? If you were an animal, what animal would you be, right? And if you, uh, you can use also the conditionals on the opposite way. So like, I would buy a Dutch if I won the lottery or I, if I won the lottery, I would buy a Dutch, right? You can use it in both cases, right? You, okay. can, you can use it at the beginning or at the end, the if clause. And here we have a couple of questions. And the first question says, what would you do if you were elected the leader of your country? Cha -cha -cha -chan, chan. Uh -huh. The next Mr. Bukele. Oh, it's political. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? No, no, no. But the, the question is, what would you do, you as a person, if you were elected the leader of your country? I will keep everybody working at home. No traffic, no nothing, no gasoline. <laughs> so I will keep people working at home all the time. Thank you. So vote for Nati. What will you do? I will change the schools as well, right? I will change the school. I will fix them and I will make them beautiful for Only students. Only vacation, teacher. Only vacation. <laughs> so I will I will declare more vacation. Good. Both for more Katia. sports. Um, <laughs> more less, parks. Maybe, more what? Maybe less 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 taxes. Less less taxes. Very good. Yes, for sure. Less taxes. Nadia. Um, this country um, has uh, many, many, many problems and I uh, beginning to fix the school when, yes. when, when I when I, uh, I am led the leader. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so both for Nadia, she is going to fix the schools, right? She is going to fix the schools. The next question is something curious. What will you tell yourself if you could go back in time and talk to your younger self? ¿Qué le diría a el era y bien de 14 años? ¿Qué le diría a la Elba Carolina de 14, 15 años? ¿Qué yeah. le diría a Maritza Isabel de 10, 11 años? Uh -huh. What I will you... tell I will tell myself uh, I that you have to that, that I have to study English <laughs> before. <laughs> uh, before exactly like that, right? Ting, ting, ting. <laughs> study English, please. <laughs> okay, that that you need to study English before. Aha. Uh -huh. What would you tell to your younger self? That's a very good question. Yes. Um, in my case, how would you? No, I will tell yourself. Um, to myself, um, I will tell to myself. Uh, myself, I will tell 
myself, <laughs> to myself, um, no fear. Okay, don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid. Okay, no, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. That's a very good thing. Let's see. Uh, chan, chan, uh, chan. Uh -huh. In my case, in my case, I tell, I tell myself. I will tell myself. I will tell myself. Everything will be fine. You just have to trust. Everything will be fine. You just have to trust. Oh. Uh huh. In my case, teacher, I will tell myself. Don't eat too, too much in the whole day. <laughs> Don't eat too much during the whole day. Yes. I, I you know what I would call. Uh -huh. I need I need diet. I need, okay, you need a diet. You know what I will tell to my younger self? Don't tell that you will never become a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> because I used to say. Ew, I will never be a teacher. What a horrible profession. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Teacher, I, I think that I... Karma teacher. I say to uh, my younger self, <laughs> spend much time with your parents. Spend more time with your parents, right? Even if you don't, even if you feel uncomfortable, even if you say like, ay mi mamá, que friega. One day when we don't have them, we miss them. So you say like, ay, otra vez me está marcando. You say like, answer that question, answer that phone call because you miss them later on. So let's see. That's a pretty curious question. I will leave it there for you to think about it. ¿Qué le dirían a ese? Ya, yeah, ya andaba la Nati de 12, 13 años. Guacala, jamás en mi vida va a ser maestra. Ew. <laughs> And here we are. Nati, we made it. We did it. If you could create a superhero, what would their power and name be? If you could create a superhero, what will their power and name be? Think about it. What would be the, in, the power of the name of your superhero? In my, in my case, if I have a superpower, I will be ready in mind. <laughs> reading okay don't read my please <laughs> okay reading the mind of other people okay that will be your superpower teacher what are you thinking about you say think about if what... i could create a superhero that superhero Good. Have the power to travel around the universe. Hey, to travel around the universe, right? Very good job to travel around the universe. What What would you do if you were a superhero? I like this topic because you start thinking about things that you have never imagined. That you say like, I have never asked that to myself, right? Super cilantro. I don't know something like that. <laughs> My superhero have the skill to uh, go to the past and change. <gasps> to go to the past and change it. You know, I, I will have to, to, to add something there. I think the past is what make you in the future. It is really unnecessary to have those mistakes for you to learn, not to do it again, right? So, but that, that superhero, it's good. Maybe you can help me with a couple of things. <laughs> In the past. Good. So it's like, no firme, no firme en el banco. I mean, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> But I've seen movies where you change something uh, in you the past. <laughs> you and the ruined. results are worse in the future. Exactly like that. You ruin the future, right? There is a good uh, uh, episode of Los Simpsons when uh, Homer travels to the past. And every time he touches something, He ruins the future. So I recommend you to look for it and watch it. Even if you don't like it, it The Simpsons, it's a pretty cool episode. You learn a lot there. Let's see. This is uh, the last question that I will use. And it's a little bit funny. Who would you marry if you could marry anyone in the world? If you could marry anyone in the world, who would you marry? Uh, I will marry with Tom Cruise. 
<laughs> Tom Cruise. Uh -huh. And your husband. Ah, really? Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Qué bonito. <laughs> who, will, who will you marry? If go you ahead, could... if you want, go ahead. Please, Tom, please. come. <laughs> who would you marry? Dale recto. If, if I could marry anyone in the world, uh, I would marry with my crush. <laughs> with your crush. Okay, don't say names. <clears throat> crush, uh, if, you are, if you are watching this class, thank you because you are learning as well. Marry him, okay? <laughs> He's a good man. Good. So, who who would you marry if you could marry anyone in the world? I would marry with Gabriel Omar Batistuta. Teacher. Okay. <laughs> and your husband. <laughs> Qué bonito. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Encouraging divorce in the English class. <laughs> Yeah, I will. I will marry Nick from Backstreet Boys. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. No, I love you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I will sleep on the street today. <laughs> Eso uh, pongando, yeah, it's, it's just it's just an example. <laughs> I, I love you, Nick. <laughs> Alejandro, who would you marry if you could marry someone mm. in the world? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe with someone with my of my past, but I don't know exactly with okay. who. Okay. <clears throat> the yeah, the crash know. from the past of Alejandro, please. Yes. Come back. Yes, it's possible. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's good. Let's see. I will go with the last one. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Andrea Geraldine, who will you marry? No, teacher, I am a single. <laughs> no, but if you could marry someone, anyone in the world. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know, Vin Diesel or, or I don't know, I would, Brad Pitt or. I would try to help my family first and another poor people. Okay, so you will you will try to, to help them first before getting married with any famous person. Okay, so uh, Geraldine, think about it. Think about it. And, and Anna, okay. I want to I want to know that answer. Who would you marry? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> How do you say? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can have more than one, don't worry. It's an example. Uh... Um, don't be okay. afraid. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, since I think my crush. Richard <laughs> um, Harris. Okay. When he was Richard. young. Okay. Richard, Richard, Richard Gere, when he was young. Um, yes. Um, yes. Paul. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's like he, mm, he, yes. He has, <laughs> um. What is? Who else? Who else? Um, what else? They like if they are objects. Uh, I, I, they are objects. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Who else? Who else? Okay. Mm. Um. She has like a big list. You see. Orlando Bloom. Yes. Or, ah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we will have a problem there. <laughs> okay, good. Very good job. Thank you very much for sharing. And don't fight. We, don't, fight. Uh -huh, don't fight for Orlando Bloom. Please. Please. We have a lot for everybody. So let's go back here. And before we move on on something else, I wanted to show you a little bit on the topic as well. Thank you very much for all your wonderful answers. Here, I wanted to show you the difference between the synonyms and the antonyms, right? Because that is uh, something that it's also included in the book. Synonyms. What is a synonym? It's something that means the same right. or very similar to what you want to say. For example, and I brought here a couple of uh, words as examples, like uh, when you say occur or happened, something has just occurred or something has just happen that it's a synonym right for mm -hmm. you to increase your vocabulary and not to use the same words all the time old and ancient right opportunity and chance 
those are similar in meaning, right? And you can use them, like you can replace them, right? Page or sheet, sheet of paper, right? Sheet, long E. Okay, be careful with the, the other word. Okay, sheet of paper. It's a page, right? A page. It's a sheet of paper. It's a page. The next one, we have beautiful and pretty, right? Peaceful and quiet. They are synonyms because they have similar meanings. Reject and deny, right? You reject like no. Deny, no, right? Rest and relax. They are synonyms because they are similar in meaning. Rich and wealthy, right? Rich and wealthy. Those mean the same. Coarse and rough. Rough is something that it's like that it's very hard, right? Well, this is a coarse thing because it's hard to, to move, right? And rough, it's exactly the same. Round and circular, right? And I have this temple right here, right? Round and circular. It is the same thing. Sad and unhappy. Rug and carpet. Rug and carpet is the same thing. Scared and afraid, right? Sure. Ask and inquire, right? Inquire is like, hmm, wow. I, I will inquire about that, right? I will investigate. I will, mm -hmm. I will look for information. Blend and mix, right? Sick mm -hmm. and sick. ill. Sick. He is very sick or he's very ill. Ill. He is very Ill. sick. Ill. Yes. Ill. Teacher, what is the meaning? Ill. 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 Sick. Ill. Oh, okay. It is, the, it is similar in meaning, right? Sick is eh, enfermo. And ill is enfermo as well. Que está como muy mal de salud. Right? Ill. Sincere and honest. Slim and thin. Right? En forma, delgadito. Small and tiny. You can use that one for objects, right? Small and tiny, tiny objects, small objects. Smart and clever, right? Taxi and cab, those are synonyms. Trust and believe, right? Unfortunate and unlucky, value and worth, want and desire, wonderful and amazing, write and record, right? Record and writing, writer and author, and wrong and incorrect. So those are synonyms. They mean the same and you can replace them. What about the next category that I am going to show you? They are antonyms. The antonyms are the opposite, right? Able, unable, above, below, absent, present, Perfect. accept, decline, refuse, okay? Accept, refuse, right? No, thank you, right? Achieve, fail, admit, deny, right? Admit and reject. Those are antonyms because they are different in meaning, right? They are the opposite. Agree or disagree that you don't, that you don't like it, right? Disagree. Alive and dead, <laughs> right? Along, Alone. together, always, never. Right, and you have many other examples. Arrive and leave, ascend. Teacher, and, and I'm uh -huh. sorry, against with what? For. Uh, how the, do you pronounce? Against. Uh, for. Oh, okay, in this one, when you say. Like the number. No, four. no, 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 for. For, it means that you are uh, on to something. For example, imagine that you are supporting the Alianza team, right? Mm -hmm. So you are for. But one person that it's supporting fast, it's against Alianza. So it's oh, just okay. a favor okay. y en contra. Contra. That is the Thank meaning, you. right? Against is en contra. For, a favor. Okay, that's one, one new thing, I think, that you didn't know. Boy, girl, buy, sell, careful, careless, expensive, cheap, cheerful. Yay! So, child, adult, chili, chili. <laughs> Warm, that it's nice and hot. Clever and stupid, right? Cold and hot. Discomfort and comfort. Incomplete and complete. Uh, crazy, insane. <laughs> when you go out of your house without the traffic, you are sane. But once you get in the traffic, you get crazy. Create and destroy. Dark and bright. Dark and light. Down, down and sunset. 
What is the meaning of down? Down. Amanecer. Amanecer. En sunset? La puesta del sol. La tarde. La tarde. Right. The sunset. Difficult and easy. Downwards and upwards. Downwards and upwards. Dry and wet. Dust and down. Easy and hard. Enter and exit. And excited and work. Okay, so those are antonyms. That is the difference between the synonyms. You can replace them. So you can get more vocabulary, right? And the antonyms are the ones that you can use to say something on the contrary. Okay, so that's the form of synonyms and antonyms. And that was something that I wanted to explain before I moved into the different questions in the book, right? Yesterday we were working on the predictions and the predicaments, right? And here you have a couple of antonyms. What couples of antonyms can you make here? We have admit and deny. Help me with some more. Mary with divorce. Marry and divorce, right? Marry and divorce. Divorce. Agree and disagree. Agree and disagree. Good. You have agree. Fine and lose. And disagree. Disagreed. Find and lose. Very good. Remember and forget. Remember and forget. forget. Remember enjoy, and forget. forget. Enjoy and dislike. Enjoy and dislike, mm -hmm. right? Very good. And spend. Save and spend. Borrow and, and, and save. 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 And you say spend and no. okay. no, for me it's save. spend with, with save. Okay. Bor okay. Borrow and lend. Borrow and lend. Yes. Right? Borrow, yes. And, borrow lend. and lend. And spend with and save. And spend save. with save. Good. Right? Mm -hmm. And accept? With refuse. With refuse. refuse. Very good job. Yeah. Accept and refuse. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now. I will erase it here. And I will say, can you use any of them in a sentence? I have one example here. I can never save money because I spend it all on clothes. Try to create a sentence with any of the couples. Invent one. Be creative. I can I can't remember anything because I always uh, I always forget everything. Very good. I can't remember anything because I always forget everything. Excellent job. Very good sentence. Then is nice. Very nice. Very nice job. Another example. <laughs> Uh-huh. It can be funny. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. Uh, um. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's not about me. It's just a, a, it's a an comment example. that uh -huh. yes, it's an example. It's, it's a comment that who told me uh, since two hours ago. Okay. And I have to divorce because I married with the wrong person. She said. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, true. she said. Okay. Yes. I have yes, to divorce because I married the wrong yeah. person. Yeah. It's it's good, <clears throat> and it is good if they do it now, not later, right? Yes. Uh huh. Another one. Use one with dislike. What is the opposite of dislike? Like, no. You like, but what did you? What do you have here? Enjoy. 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 No, agree. No, no. Enjoy. Dislike, enjoy. See, yeah, enjoy, enjoy. So, mm -hmm. I saw many people enjoying their pacayas, but I totally dislike them. I cannot even see them. <laughs> so, I don't know if you like them. Sorry for the pacaya team. Another example. Give me one example with, uh, let me see. 
accept and refuse. Accept I and have, refuse. Uh -huh. I have to accept the case because I can refuse because she's my friend. Okay, uh, she's my friend, she said, okay, like, like Anna. I have to marry Orlando Bloom because, right, mm -hmm. Richard Gere is married already, and I have yes. to refuse him. Good, so that is the way you use the, uh, in this case, the antonyms, to say something in the opposite, right, to express that you are talking about something, but that you can also uh, disagree with that and use it in the opposite way. Here, we are going to finish our day with this conversation. And it says like this. Is your house guest still staying with you? No, after three weeks, she finally left. Thank goodness. <laughs> Gracias a Dios. So how did you get rid of her? How did you get rid of her? ¿Cómo te deshiciste de ella? Well, I lied and told her my parents were coming for a visit and I needed the room. I probably shouldn't have lied. Now I feel bad. What would you have done? Oh, I would have told her to leave after a week. By the way, my father-in-law is coming to visit us next week. Can I move in with you for a few days? <laughs> no way. <laughs> it's like, we know, right? I have just dismissed one and I don't want another one. Your house guest is the person who shares the house with you, right? A person who helps you with the house and you live together and you pay the rent together. Yes. After three weeks, she finally left. When you say, ah, she finally left. It's like, gracias a Dios, al fin se fue. Yes. She finally left. Thank goodness. Gracias al cielo que se fue. Hey, how did you get rid of her? ¿Cómo te deshiciste de ella? Well, I lied. I lied and told her my parents were coming for a visit and I needed the room, right? I will stop here. Have you ever lied to someone because you needed to do something different? Just yes or no, don't tell me about what. Mm. No, teacher. Yes, I did. <laughs> I think we all have in one way or another one, right? You needed to go out, you needed some time, you needed to do something else, right? And say like, hey, well, tomorrow I have to work. I cannot do it, I'm very sorry. And the other person, well, next time, next time. And then how did you get rid of her? I lie. You I think sometimes uh, you must to lie because it's the only way. You must lie because it's the only way. <laughs> okay, you must to lie, no, you must lie. And it says, what would you have done? ¿Qué hubieras hecho? Tú. ¿Qué hubieras hecho tú? And it's like, hi, you are criticizing my, my decision, but what would you have done? ¿Qué hubieras hecho en mi lugar? What would you have done? I would have told her to leave after a week. By the way, my father-in-law, mi suegro, my father-in-law, is coming to visit us next week. Can I move in with you for a few days? No way, right? What will you have done? That's a very good question. And this is the one that we are going to be using tomorrow for one of our final topics. What will you have done? What should I have done, right? This is for you to talk about hypothetical actions. Hypothetical actions in the past. Imagine if you see an accident and you say, what should you have done? Record teacher for TikTok. No, that's not the most appropriate thing to do. But what should I have done? ¿Qué tendría que haber hecho? So if you can go in deep a little bit on these two topics for tomorrow, that will be perfect. We are going to be working on that. I am going to call the attendance for us to finish our class. And after this, you can go to bed and sleep. So think about it. What, what could you have done about it? In every single case in life, what should I do? What is the best thing for me? Don't just do it, okay? Think and analyze it. Okay, let me see. Here we go. Alba Colombina. Albita. Albita. Not here. 
Okay, let's go here. Eh, Alejandro Jose. Present teacher. Alicia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Geraldine. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle. Present teacher. Eh, Blanca Marisol. Blanquita. Boris Martín. Brian Isaac. Thank you in the chat. Dennis Isaías. Present. Daisy Carolina. Hey, and Daisy. Tan pronto se nos curó, mire, se nos fue a vagar. Dina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Elba Carolina. Present teacher. Eric Ernesto. Thank you. Then, okay, he's in the chat. Thank you. Eh, Erika Maidel. Present teacher. Francisco Alberto. Present teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Iris Regina. Is here, teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica. Thank you. Eraivin. Present teacher. Juan Eduardo. Present teacher. Katia Graciela. Present teacher. Maritza. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nadia. Present teacher. Noemi. Present Ricardo. Ronald. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sara. Present teacher. And Vidal. Present teacher. Well, my dear students. Yes. La música, eh? Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Have a beautiful night. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Please, if you can investigate a little bit about our last topic, that would be perfect. So you can bring me examples for the class tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and I will see you tomorrow for the next. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night everyone. Bye -bye. What should you do? Bye. Go to bed. <laughs> Bye. Bye.